stop is above the high of the day. If you're a conservative trader and you're going short below the low of the range, your stop is above the high of the range. Okay, this is why this is a small position. We don't want to take on a bunch of risk up here because our stop could be pretty big. So if we go short, boom. I mean, look at this. You go short right here, the market immediately turns back around and then eventually falls through and then kind of goes sideways a little bit. But by having our stop above the range, we're protecting ourselves. And because we have a small position, we're not taking on a lot of risk. Now, the thing that I want to I want to stress is that an aggressive trader, aggressive trader, has more opportunity, opportunity for stops and for profit. Now, I don't want you to gloss over this by thinking you have more opportunity for profit. Because it's one thing to talk about having to take more stops. It's something entirely different to actually go and take them in the marketplace. So re please remember this, that as if you are an aggressive trader, while you may have more opportunity for profit, you are also going to have to realize you are going to take more trades, which means you have the opportunity to get stopped out more often. And when you look at trend traders, and um, there are a number of books that have been written about trend traders, uh, a number of books which have been written about the turtles. Uh, Michael Koval has one which I have not read. Curtis Faith has one which I have. Uh, and bo But both authors talk about how um, the individuals who trade the best as trend traders are the ones who realize that drawdowns are a nature of the business. Uh, in fact, there's a company called Dunn Capital, and um, I'm trying to, to uh, secure the rights to rebroadcast one of their uh, corporate communications where they detailed out they, that they routinely took 30% drawdowns. Okay, now this is, a, this is a company that has hundreds of millions, if not billions of dollars under management, and they will routinely lose 30% in a year at some point. That's the nature of trend type of trading. Okay, so let's talk about, uh, we've talked about the weave. Uh, we've talked about um, getting in on the sideways action as an aggressive and as a conservative trader. Now, as we're observing the market and we're looking for hands, well, the reason why we want to take trades in the direction of the hand, okay, see this hand is pointing down. It's like you had your hand uh, here. You'd have the pinky, then uh, the ring finger, the middle finger, the index finger, then all the way down for the thumb. Okay, the hand would be pointing down. The reason why we're taking trades in the direction of the hand is it has to do with the, the way the market just likes to move. And as the market is making new lows, okay, remember the definition of a trend is lower lows, we're simply going with that momentum. Okay, so here, let's, let's go ahead and point out all the hands. We have uh, a hand here, right, two higher lows. We have a hand here, right, two higher lows. We have a hand here, oh, almost, we need one more. Okay, so we have one, two hands on the downside. Now we have one hand there, right? One, two, lower highs. One, two. Over here. One, two. One, two. Now, yep. 